Hello and welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today I'm going to be opening up yet again some more Turbo Attacks 2022. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be opening up one specific product at a time in each video, try and make it a quick video and I'm gonna label these something like uh, what to what you get in this product because there seems to be a lot of confusion on the Facebook groups and Instagram. When I talk to people, people are really confused about what are the EX cards? What are the pink parallels? What are, you know, and what I'd like to do is do like a little series of this is the product you need to buy to get this card. So hopefully it will help you complete your sets out there. If you like any of that, make sure you smash up the like button and also subscribe. But let's get right into today's video. So straight off the bat, the first product that I want to open up today is this Turbo Attacks, uh, I think it's called a Jumbo Box. Uh, you get 16 packs in here and you also get uh, some unnumbered red parallel. So just to clarify, in the sets, in the normal sets, when you're opening tins and uh, booster boxes, you can pull parallels which are either pink which are non-numbered, so that means there could be an unlimited amount of them in the world. Uh, then you have numbered ones, which say like the red ones or the green, they're numbered out of 500. So there's only 500 of that card ever made. But what they've done with this box is they've put all the red uh, parallels in here, but they're unnumbered, so it makes it just that little bit more confusing for the consumer, but just so you know, the red, the unnumbered ones are less rare than the numbered ones. So ideally you want a card with a number on the back, like one out of 500, one out of 10. That means you've pulled something really special. But we're gonna have a little look. What do you get in these Turbo Attacks Jumbo Boxes? Now I've done it in the past, but I've opened it like for myself. Um, now I'm actually just opening these up. One, to see if I can pull a parallels or signature cards. But also hopefully I can help educate you watching this video. So as you can see, we've got normal packs here. These can be completely random. There could be anything in these. Um, but this one will have your guaranteed cards in it. So your guaranteed red parallels. So let's open that up first so that you can see what it is I'm talking about. And we have a Charles Leclerc in red. But if I turn this over, you'll see that there's no numbering on the back of this. So that means it there is an unlimited, potentially an unlimited amount of these printed in the world. So they're not rare at all. Um, if you bought loads and loads of jumbo boxes, which I would highly suggest going to the f1store.com, not tops, f1store.com because they are doing 30% off, I believe. So you get these boxes. <laughs> I paid 30 quid for my ones, but they're doing them at the minute for 21 pound. So works out quite well but these are unnumbered so every every single box that's made of that jumbo box has these red numbered parallels in them now you may get different drivers so if i opened up three or four of these right now i'll probably complete the whole set of superstars in red uh, so just bear that in mind if you're chasing a particular driver you may have to buy a couple of these boxes uh, we've got Alex Albon in gold, Ellie. Then we've got Pierre Gasly in gold. And we've got Sebastian Vettel in gold as well. So that's like our guaranteed hits. You're guaranteed free Ellie's, limited editions. And you're guaranteed these red non-numbered parallels. Anything we get out of these packs are not guaranteed. They could have absolutely nothing in them or they could have a signature card which is the one that I'm chasing hopefully we're gonna pull one at some point especially if I can get it on camera that would be sweet but make sure you smash up that like button to give me some uh, signature magic 
I'm not going to go through all of these cards. I'm literally just going to skip to the end. So this one for me is enough. Like enough. I would consider this a nothing pack, a dud pack, if you like. The, what I would consider a good hit <clears throat> is anything that's a rainbow card onwards. And what I mean by that is that these silver cards that you're looking at, these are like a silver matte finish. Again, these are unlimited. They've made an unlimited amount of these. Um, but the rainbow cards, uh, through my experience, and obviously I've pulled thousands and thousands of packs, the rainbow cards come up far and few between. I actually pull more LEs, more limited edition cards, than I do uh, rainbow foil cards. Now, the rainbow foil cards look silver. They look the same, but they have like a rainbow tint to them when you shimmy them in the light. So here we have a pink parallel, two silvers, and that's a Charles Leclerc Grand Prix booster. I've completed I, I completed the whole set of pinks really early on, like uh, because obviously I opened so much product. Um, I actually have enough to complete probably two or three pink sets, parallel sets. So we have a LE F2 gold. So that wasn't guaranteed, that one. That's uh, rainbow foil cards. I get less of them than sometimes the pink parallels. So it just goes to show you how many pink parallels there are. So this is what I mean by a rainbow foil card. You can see these two are like a matte uh, print quality finish on the cards. But this card that I'm about to pull, which is Alex Albon, this is a rainbow. See those multi colors that are shimmering? Well, that signifies that's a rainbow card. These are the rare cards, like in terms of the set. And these start from number 330. So from 330 all the way through to 361. These are the toughest pulls, like to complete the whole entire set. Um, you, you get, I don't know, you get like a few, but not as many as you get like pink parallels and LE cards. I, I just, I find them really hard to get a hold of and when I'm buying them off eBay like the ones that I need to complete sets for other people I'm always struggling with rainbow foil cards um, it seems like there's not many of them about for people to buy so we've got another pink parallel there we've got a uh, Lance Stroll record breaker it's a nice one I want to say a huge huge thank you to everyone that's been smashing up the like button and also subscribing to the channel. We are almost at the 750 that I asked you guys for literally only a week or two ago. So that's awesome. Alex Albon in the rainbow foil idol card. See, like now, I've pulled two rainbow foil cards, but I've also pulled two pink parallels. So it just goes to show you that sometimes the rainbow foil cards are just as rare as pink parallels. Oh, I have opened a lot of this product. I'd say I'm at just over £2,000 now of product that I've opened up. Still not pulled a signature or a red parallel, actually. I'd say that's another dud pack. I would say anything that hasn't got a rainbow card on it, at least, that's a dud pack in my eyes. So, like, we've got a Mick Schumacher there. Last two packs smash up that like button for good luck vibes and we have got Valtteri Bottas idol card and two silvers last pack come on something good please we've got no number we've got a pink parallel and this one is Pierre Gasly so <laughs> I was actually right uh, we've got here one, two, three, four pink parallels, but we've also only got four rainbow foil cards. Now, the weird thing is people sell these on the Facebook group and they sell these for about a pound, but they sell these for two or three pound. But I actually find that these are the harder ones to get together. Um, I struggle sometimes getting all the idols and stuff like that together. So... Yeah, definitely uh, keep an eye on those. So I hope that's cleared it up. That's what you get with a F1 jumbo box from 20... 
from 2022. Obviously, the main draw is the red parallel superstars. Um, what I will say is I have seen people that in their um, golds, they have pulled the Michael Schumacher, or the Mick, sorry, the Mick Schumacher, um, which originally you could only get from the Silverstone Grand Prix, uh, but you can actually get them through this product. Uh, I didn't hit one today, but um, that's something to bear in mind. If he's one of the cards that you need to complete a set, go out and buy one of these. Go to the F1 uh, website store um, where you can get 30% off at the minute. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get no referral link or anything like that. I'll put the description, I'll put the uh, link to the website in the description. I don't get anything caveat, I don't get a kickback. I'm just saying it because that's a really good offer at the minute with the 30% off. So uh, that's it from me, guys. That's what you get on. Uh, the jumbo boxes from 2022 i have got tons of other products to go through so we have got mega tins we've got four mega tins so we're going to have a look and see what you definitely get out of these mega tins i have got about 15 mini tins to open up so i'm going to go through and open up each color set um, and show you guys what you actually guaranteed to get in those cards. We've also got some, uh, I've got absolutely tons of these multi packs where you've got a chance to pull with uh, a Lewis Hamilton Union flag. I've actually got quite a lot of the Max Verstappen uh, Dutch orange, so I mainly focus on the Lewis Hamilton one on these, but I've got about 20 of these. So we're going to have a little look to see what the pool ratios are of getting one of those Union flag ones, or am I just going to end up with a load of bronze and silver uh, Lewis Hamilton limited editions? Who knows? Make sure to subscribe to this channel to find out, and we'll find out together. You can always comment down below, or you can always find me on any of my social medias Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. It's all there all under the name Hammond's Hobbies, or you can join my Facebook group, which is F1 Sports Cards. That's it from me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.